Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Arcane Hulk here today, and today what I have for you is the second installment of my Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Rank Playlist Definitive Guides. And today we're going to be covering Hardpoint. Last time we covered Search and Destroy, I'll link that down in the description if you want to see it. But focusing on Hardpoint, Hardpoint is a King of the Hill variant game type. So if you've never played King of the Hill or Hardpoint before, basically is there's one power position on the map, and two teams fight over control of it, and whoever stays on it the longest wins the game. Now, whether or not you're victorious depends on three specific things. One is slaying power, two is rotation, and three is grabbing time. So, I'll start off with number one, which is slaying power. Slaying power is probably the most important in this game mode. I know that they're going to be adding a respawn delay, which makes it much more important. Um, what the slaying position does is they are necessarily not going to be in the harsh point, but they're going to be near and around it, usually watching the flanks, patrolling around, you know, getting those kills. You're going to want your guys with your best gun skill to not necessarily be in the hard point most of the time. You're going to want them, you know, playing that more passively objective role. Yeah, they'll jump in the hard point if you need them to, but most of the time there's me running around doing what they do best, which is getting kills. And the Slayer role is very, very important in this game mode. It really makes or breaks teams because, you know, anyone can be OBJ on this game mode. The hard points are usually pretty big. Anyone can find a corner and sit in there and slay out. The OBJ isn't the most important person, but they still have an important role, but not nearly as important as the Slayers are. So, basically slaying out, what they want to do is they're protecting the OBJ inside of the hill. That's why they're not inside. They're trying to hold the line outside of the hill, and that's basically what's going to give them, you know, it's going to give the, the OBJ player inside the hill the advantage. Okay, so the Slayer is getting kills, and let's say the Slayer gets picked off from Midfire Tunnel, and Midfire Tunnel is going to cut across to you know, hardpoint roof that I was just at, I now, as the OBJ player inside the hill, can, you know, decide, you know, I know where he's going to come from, I have an idea, I can pre-aim, I can get set up, I can turn around if I need to, I can do everything I need to to make sure that that kill is secured, and I can stay on the hard point for as long as I can, because in hard point, seconds matter, every second you get a point, so every second counts inside of that hill, whether you're contesting, capping, or fighting for it. Alright guys, next one I want to talk to you about is rotating. So pretty self-explanatory, just rotate from one hard point to the next. Generally, you want to do this about 10 to 15 seconds before the next hard point spawns. So depending on the size of the map, you want to go for 15. If it's a close quarters rotation, then you can do it in about 10 or even less, depending on how dominant your slayers are. And generally, the person who's going to be rotating is one of your stronger slayers. In this game, it was me because I was the dedicated OBJ. I was... These guys on the other team really weren't too hard to take out in gunfights, so I was able to challenge a bit more than I usually do. Because my gun skill isn't the best. I'd say I'm halfway decent. But generally, you want your best slayers to go in because you might get out-rotated. Someone might leave three seconds before you and get there and post up. So you want your best slayer to go in, clear it out, anchor, that, anchor the nearest spawn point, and be able to get you guys the ideal position to spawn in in case you die. A little bonus thing I'm going to throw in here is for kill streaks. Kill streaks can be used to cut off choke points to clear out some specific hard points and they're out, if they're out in the open. And they can do a lot more too. Kill streaks are good for locking down positions, you know, shutting down choke points, all that stuff. It works really well. But like my teammates right there, they weren't really too close to the hard point. They were a bit too far back by the old ones. So we did spawn a bit out, but we, were st we still had a strong spawn because of where they were. So we were able to, you know, just charge in there, get these last 30 seconds or so. And right here at the about the 20 or 19 second mark, I know it's going to spawn away across maps. You're going to hear me call it out. Guys, I'm rotating, I'm rotating, I'm rotating. I tried to up the volume for that so you guys can hear it. And the reason I updated, I, I updated, I rotated at 20 seconds is because, you know, it spawned from one corner of the map all the way on the exact opposite. It takes me about 15 seconds to get there. And, you know, now that I'm here, I have adequate time to make sure the area is clear. I can go look around, patrol, and right now I'm just looking for a safe spot to use my kill streaks. I know the other team doesn't really rotate too well. But, you know, generally when you're in this position, you get there earlier, you're going to want to make sure the bunker is cleared out. You're going to want to make sure there aren't any enemies coming in. If you see them coming from one of the doorways, you know your teammates are going to be coming from that direction. You're going to want to call them out. And generally, you don't want to be the one challenging if you're the first one there. Yeah, you're going to want to challenge if there's already an established enemy presence. But if you're the last one in there, you're the first one, you're going to want to just peek the doorways. Make sure you don't see anyone coming. Call out where they're coming from. It really helps your teammates establish their rotation patterns, where they're going to go through, how they can come through this side, try to get the enemies from the back as they're charging you. And, yeah, it just helps the communication a lot. All right, next one I want to talk to you guys about is something that's very similar. It's probably going to be a short segment in here, is grabbing time. Basically, the objective player is going to be the one inside the hard point, grabbing time, getting those points. Pretty much, they're going to be just camping inside the objective. 
if one of their slayers dies, they're going to try to fill in that area. Like, for example, if someone died by this door, I'm just going to peek outside of that door. Not going to ever leave the hard point. I'm just going to stay and make sure I have the, get the maximum amount of time in there. And another thing the person whose objective is going to do is around the 15 to 10 second mark when people are starting to rotate and leave. Most teams will leave one or two people in, in their hard point to secure those last few seconds. The OBJ player, they can challenge that time. So they'll run in, get the guy laying down, and they'll secure 15 extra seconds for that match. It can really change the course of the game. It really helps out. Just make sure that if you're grabbing time that you know, you're checking all those corners. You're going to want to make sure that someone's not challenging you. If you're grabbing time, you're on the defending team. You can challenge as well. So just make sure you're careful about it. Move smart. Check your corners. Pre-aim. All that good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and end the video there, guys. As you can see, I'll bring up our scores here soon. We all did very, very well. I don't think any of us died over 10 times. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe for more. Next, I will be covering Uplink and Capture the Flag in that order. I have the gameplay for Uplink. I just need to talk to my Slayers and see how they play the game because I'm the OBJ, so I don't slay out too often. But yeah, thank you again for watching. Please stay tuned for episodes 3 and 4. Episode 1 is linked down in the description. And thank you. Hope to see you again soon.